It is officially my favorite time of year when it comes to fashion. It is fall fashion time, which means that the weather is perfect for layering and getting creative with your looks and mixing and matching stuff. And I just wanted to make this video and talk about some fall fashion trends that I am super excited about that are totally wearable. That's pretty much anyone can pull off even if you are 37 weeks pregnant. So we know that trends come and go all the time. So I like to make these videos as often as I can to share with you the trends that I think are going to stick around for a while. Sometimes there are certain trends that I think are super cool and I want to try out and I don't know the longevity of them. But for the most part in these videos, I try to curate the ones that I think are more long lasting and ones that you'll be able to enjoy again and again, rather than just once or twice and then get sick of it. I also thought that this video was the perfect opportunity to share with you guys some of the newest pieces in my wardrobe, specifically fall pieces. And you guys know that I have this rule. If I welcome new pieces into my wardrobe, I am very considerate about clearing out my closet and seeing what I have that I no longer wear or things that may be too similar to the items that I'm trying to add to my wardrobe. And I do my best to clear them out. I did end up donating a lot of items and the items that I haven't donated, I listed on my closet sale website. So if you guys wanted to check that, I'm going to leave the link on the screen here, as well as in my description box down below. I added a lot of outerwear. So you're going to see a lot of really cool coats, some knitwear, some other fall attire. And I'm also going to be adding more pieces throughout the season as I always do. And as always, if you guys have never shopped on my closet sale website, of course, of every single sale is being donated to charity. If you want to learn more about the charity that I'm supporting at the moment, it should be in the about me section. All right, so without further ado, let's hop into this video because I am super excited to get into it. So the first fall fashion trend that I am beyond excited for, and to be honest, I'm excited for this fall winter staple every single year, and that is outerwear. But this season specifically, oversized outerwear is making a huge statement. So I recently added two oversized coats to my collection. Not that I need more coats. I have so many coats in my wardrobe, which is why I had to purge some of them. And to be honest, I'm probably going to be purging more over the season. I love oversized statement coats. Not only do they look super cool, they're comfortable. For me personally, they're also a staple because I do live in Toronto, Canada. So it tends to be very cold here majority of the year. So I live in my coats and since this is the item that most people see when you see them majority of the year I want to make sure that I feel good and look good at the same time so I wanted to share with you the two coats that I recently added to my wardrobe for the fall winter season. The first one being this oversized, the Frankie shop coat. I've heard so many amazing things about the Frankie shop and I finally decided to try them out. When I saw this coat, I felt like it just screamed me. This is a wool camel coat with shoulder pads in the shoulders. So it's like super oversized and gives you this really kind of like edgy, sculpted look, which I love. It's super long and super warm. So I know I'm going to be wearing this in the fall and winter. I'm going to try it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Just for reference, I'm almost five foot ten, So this is like a full length coat. It has these beautiful wide lapels that make it look super expensive. These really nice, generous sleeves that go full length. And I got this in a size extra small slash small, but it fits super oversized, as I said. So so something like that you can literally wear with anything and everything from leggings to trousers to leather pants, jeans. It's a very neutral kind of camel beige color that I think will be in my staple for many, many years to come. The second piece I decided to get was this oversized khaki trench coat. This is from the brand Totem, which is another brand that I've heard so many amazing things about and the quality of this trench coat. You guys, I wish you can feel 
feel it. It's very structured. It's not one of those trench coats that is super lightweight and that's going to wrinkle really quickly. So it's a perfect transitional piece. And I love this khaki color. Khaki is a very neutral color and I don't have anything like this in my coat collection. So I thought that this would be the perfect addition to that. So as you can see, it has these really oversized balloon sleeves. Again, it has a really nice oversized lapel collar with a belted waist and it's also full length. And I think this paired with combat boots or even sneakers is just so easy and so cool. And I'm definitely excited to wear this as well. If you guys are interested in any of the pieces that I'm showing in this video, I'll also do my best to find them and link them down below. These pieces will sell fast. So if you are interested in them, I would suggest getting on them ASAP. These are a little bit pricier than your average Main Street brands, but I'm a true believer in less is more. I'd rather have less pieces in my wardrobe that are more investment pieces that are higher quality that will last a long time than owning many, many pieces that don't stand the test of time. And you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I've been talking about this subject a lot on my channel. So in my opinion, I always think about cost per wear and these two coats, I know that I'm gonna be wearing to death, not only this year, but for many years to come. So that for me just justifies the cost. Another fall fashion trend for this season that I am super excited for is matching suits. So I've been seeing matching suit sets on the runway in all different shapes and forms. I've seen matching skirt suits, matching short suits, matching just trouser suits, whether they're pin tuck or wide leg. And I have a few blazers in my wardrobe that I can kind of turn into a suit, such as this newer blazer actually that I got from Totem. I can literally wear this with any of my black trousers or black shorts and kind of make it a suit, but I don't really have a neutral suit in my wardrobe where the blazer is meant to go with the specific bottoms and I felt like that was something that my wardrobe was lacking. So I decided to go for this matching the Frankie shop suit and I'm absolutely obsessed with it and so excited to be able to wear this. I love matching suit sets because there are so many different ways you can wear them. Obviously you can wear them together, but you can also wear them separately. You can wear the trousers on their own and you can wear the blazer on its own, especially when it's in a neutral color tone such as this. This is like a beigey kind of coffee colored combo. So this is the B blazer and B trousers from the Frankie shop. I will link them down below. I will try on the blazer for you guys so you can see what it looks like. This is super oversized, even though this is a size extra small, small. And I got a size small in the trousers, which I cannot try on for you at the moment since I'm 37 weeks pregnant. So you're just gonna have to use your imaginations. But together, this combination is just perfection and you can wear this with literally anything. You can wear it with a t-shirt and sneakers or you can dress it up with like a little bustier underneath and some heels. And I think this is just so perfect and something that I know I will get a lot of wear out of. Personally, I'm more of a trouser girl rather than shorts and skirts. So that's why I decided to go for a matching suit set that is a blazer and trouser combination. So just think about what it is that you normally gravitate towards, what kind of suit set will work best for your lifestyle and just go with that. Another trend for this season that I'm super excited about is cropped jackets or or blazers. I've seen these in all kinds of different forms and fabrics. I've seen cropped denim jackets, cropped blazers like I mentioned, whether they're in just like a woven wool fabric like this or tweed. I've also seen cropped leather jackets. I feel like if they are done right and styled right, they can look super flattering, especially if you wear high-waisted bottoms with them. It really elongates your legs, makes them look a lot longer, whittles the waist. I have a couple of cropped jackets and blazers in my collection that I cannot wait to bring out again this season. And if this trend is something that you are a little bit nervous about trying, try to go with a neutral jacket instead of something that's really loud and bright. That way you can wean yourself into this trend and feel a lot more comfortable. If you're feeling super adventurous, color from head to toe is really trending for this season. I think if you do it in a tasteful way, way. It can look really chic and really sophisticated, especially if you ground it with neutral accessories. I have several examples on my Instagram of 
of outfits that I wore collar from head to toe and I just accessorized with neutral accessories like handbags and shoes to kind of ground the look. It allowed me to feel more comfortable while still feeling like I am on trend. Bold stripes are making a huge comeback for this season and I'm so excited about that because I personally think that black and white stripes or even like brown and black or white and blue is super classic and timeless and it's something that is very transitional. You can wear it even in the springtime and it has this very Parisian flair about it. The one thing I wanna to suggest to be mindful of is when you are looking for striped pieces, make sure that the lines and the stripes are not too thin because otherwise it tends to widen your frame and is not the most flattering. So I pulled this example from my closet to show you guys what I mean. The wider stripes on this knit sweater are a lot more flattering and are going to minimize your frame because they are a little thicker. I would say they're about an inch in thickness. When they're too thin and go across the body horizontally, that's when you get into dangerous territories. So look out for stripes that are about an inch in thickness. This makes a great piece to wear just on its own. You can wear it on top of like a button down dress shirt. You can also wear it underneath an oversized blazer or coat and I think it looks so chic and timeless. Another trend for this season that I think is so sexy in a sophisticated way when it's done properly are cutouts. So cutouts that are thought out and placed in such a way that are flattering on the body such as like little cutouts on the side. It helps your waist look smaller. I've also seen like interesting cutout details around the decolletage area that I think look so super cool. I think when you throw on an oversized blazer on a cutout top or dress, it makes it more wearable and allows you to be a little bit more comfortable with wearing that trend. So that's something to consider as well. And a blazer will always be your best friend. You can literally wear it with anything and everything, which is why I swear by them and why I have decided to invest in a few blazers that I know will be classic timeless pieces in my wardrobe. So I kind of went off on a tangent talking about blazers but it just reminded me of closet clear out video that I did maybe last year or something where I was clearing out a lot of my blazers I actually don't have a lot of blazers left in my wardrobe the ones that I do have left I wear a ton but at one point I think I had like three or four of the same black blazer black blazers are a staple in my wardrobe especially in the fall and winter season and the reason why I had so many of them was because I couldn't find the perfect blazer like each one had an element to them that I really, really liked. So that's why I purchased it. One of them had thicker lapels. One of them had a fit that I liked better, but not one of them was like perfect for me. So I quickly wanted to throw in a shameless mention of this blazer. This is the Totem blazer that I told you that I got recently. And it is literally perfection. I've literally cleared out all of my black blazers. This is the only black blazer I have left in my wardrobe. It's a wool blend blazer. So it's not too hot and not too thick where I can't layer it with other things. So it's the perfect transitional piece and also the perfect piece to get me through the winter. And I just cannot rave about it enough. I heard a lot about Totem blazers and their cut and their fit and the way that they just look and feel and lay on the body. And I'm telling you guys, the hype is so real. So if you are looking for the perfect black blazer, I cannot recommend this enough. Again, it is an investment, but it's so, so worth it in my opinion because a black blazer is something that I wear like a million times a season. So I will do my best to link this one below. This particular model is called the L'Oreo blazer and I just love it so much. You can literally wear it with anything and everything. Another trend I'm super excited for is ultra baggy denim. You guys know how much I love my denim but especially now that I'm pregnant I've been living in ultra baggy denim and the fact that this trend is kind of moving in into the fall winter season makes me super excited because I just think it looks so laid back, so cool. I'm going to show you a pair of denim that I purchased when I got pregnant. They're non-maternity. I just sized up like maybe four or six sizes bigger so that they could accommodate my growing belly. And I have literally worn them from the beginning to the end of my pregnancy. I haven't worn them in the last week or two, so I'm not 100% sure if they still fit me, but if they do, I will definitely model them for you. They're from Unique 
clothes, so they're very affordable. And I just, I love the oversized look of them. They're also low-waisted, so if you are expecting, they're really easy to wear because they don't cut into your stomach, they're not elasticated, and they have that like true denim feel that most maternity denim doesn't have. And I think something like that paired with like a sophisticated black blazer like this or an oversized beige blazer like the Frankie Shop one that I just showed you is just so easy, laid back and cool. And every time I wear those jeans, I always get so many questions about them. So if I can still find them, I will make sure to link them down below. But I know that even after I have the baby, oversized baggy denim is something that I'm going to be living in. Whenever the temperatures start to drop, one of the things I look forward to most is bringing out my leather. Leather jackets, leather pants, probably not together, but separately, I love adding a element of leather to a look. It makes it more edgy. It makes it look more fashion forward. And leather makes for a great transitional piece. And it's something that anyone and everyone can pull off. There's also so many amazing vegan leather alternatives these days where you can find really beautiful sustainable leather pieces that will elevate your wardrobe in the best way possible. So one of the things I look forward to the most in the fall and winter months is probably my knits. I live in knits in the fall and winter months. There's just no way around it when you live where I live and they're amazing because you can wear them on their own, you can layer them on top of something, whether it's a knit cardigan or a knit sweater. Knits are definitely a staple in my wardrobe but for this season specifically saturated knits in like beautiful bold colors such as blues and greens and pinks are really making a statement with these pieces to make them more wearable I would recommend dressing them down with either leather trousers or a pair of neutral trousers or maybe denim it grounds the look and if you are scared about trying saturated knits it's gonna make you feel a little bit more comfortable with trying that trend out so the next fall fashion trend I already kind of touched upon in the beginning of this video but I wanted to mention it again because it's making a huge statement on the runways and that's elevated trench coats so I already showed you my new totem trench coat that I added to my coat collection but there are so many other amazing elevated trench coats that are out there right now with padded shoulders and like cool details that you haven't seen before I just personally think that to make something like this feel a little bit more wearable and give it more longevity, go with something that makes a statement but it's not too out there that it makes you feel uncomfortable and the piece itself feels like it can become obsolete next season. Choose something that is in a neutral color that you can mix and match with different items in your wardrobe and something that you feel will stand the test of time. So this next fall fashion trend is one of those exceptions that I talked about in the beginning of this video. I am not sure of the long-term longevity of this specific trend, but right now I think it's super cool and it's something that I would definitely like to try out myself. In fact, I did try out this trend with a more summery twist earlier in the summer and that is vests. So I love vests, especially when it's like part of a matching suit set. I wore a really beautiful sunny yellow vest and trouser set when my husband and I went on our Parisian baby moon when I was like five and a half or six months pregnant. And I got so many compliments on it. I thought it looked super chic and I felt amazing in it. For the fall and winter months, I've also been seeing shorter vests that kind of meet the top of the trousers. And I think they look so chic and so sophisticated. You can also add a third layer by adding a matching blazer on top to make it a three piece matching set. And I feel like it has this really of the moment feel to it right now and something that I I would definitely dabble in but again I'm not sure if the vest itself is something that I would wear next season as well so it's just something to consider something I wanted to mention because I think it's super easy to wear for right now and looks really really chic and maybe worth trying out if you can find it on the high street so one item that I actually don't have in my wardrobe that I am strongly considering of adding and thinking that I need in my life because I realized how versatile it is 
is a loafer. I don't have any loafers in my wardrobe. I used to own a pair of loafers, but I ended up donating them just because I didn't feel like they were me. And I realized the reason for that is, is because I wasn't styling them properly. And also I didn't get like a particular style of loafer that was the most flattering on my leg shape. So my legs are more muscular, they're very long. And I realized that for me, I need a loafer that is a little bit more on the chunky side of things like the Chanel dad loafers as they call them or the Prada loafer I feel like that would be a lot more appropriate for my size and shape and I feel like I can wear them with so many different things from trousers to dresses to denim and I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of them especially if I got them in either black or white or maybe beige so if you were considering of adding a pair of loafers to your wardrobe like I am in my opinion, that's the way to make them look more wearable. And I think for this season especially, you really can't go wrong. They look super chic and on trend and really, really cool. I'm so happy that Shades of Camel is another trend for this season because not only does it always look classic and timeless and sophisticated, I think Camel, especially when it's like a warm shade Camel, can look so good and flattering on so many different skin tones. I realized that the second color that I reach for the most after black is camel, especially in the fall and winter months. So this particular trend makes me super, super happy. So again, I kind of touched upon this next fall fashion trend that I'm really, really excited for, and that is structured blazers. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know how much I love my blazers and how much I live in them, especially in the fall and winter months. Like I mentioned, this is the newest blazer to my collection, and that Frankie Shop blazer is the newest to my collection. So those are two incredible examples that I think will get you through not only this year, but for many, many years to come, especially if you stick with a neutral color or a neutral pattern. I also have several pattern blazers in my collection that I love and wear to death and I've already owned them for many many seasons. As an example some patterns that I really love are Prince of Wales patterns or Houndstooth patterns. I'll show you some examples in this b-roll here so you can see what I mean. It's super neutral and you can wear it with so many different things in your wardrobe and I feel like if you stick with a neutral color or a neutral print it can really really go a long way for you in your wardrobe. So a a trend that I am so excited for that's making its presence known in the fashion universe is understated classic basics. Whether it's t-shirts or tank tops or denim, I feel like these pieces are going to be staples in your wardrobe. Just very simple, flattering fits, classic styles that you can mix and match with anything and everything in your wardrobe. No logos, no prints. I feel like these are essentials that everyone needs in their wardrobe and it makes getting dressed every day so much easier. So if you don't have like a good classic high quality white t-shirt in your wardrobe yet, or maybe a good pair of denim jeans that you feel amazing in this is the time to invest in classic understated pieces like that because they will become the foundations of your wardrobe all right you guys so that wraps up today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what you thought about it and if there are any fall fashion trends for the 2022 season that you have been eyeing and loving i would love to know what they are again i wanted to remind you guys everything that i showed in this video will be linked down below so check out my description box for all of the links for that and as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and i will see you in my next one